Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going to discuss problem D of binary search step 1. The problem says, you are given an array A of n integers and your task is to respond to the queries like how many numbers values are between L and R. So basically we have to print the number of elements in the array which are between L and R inclusive. Now let us see the constraints. Here n is up to 10 to the power 5. And the array elements are from negative 10 to the power 9 to positive 10 to the power 9. Number of queries can be up to 10 to the power 5. And the query elements can also be from negative 10 to the power 9 up to positive 10 to the power 9. That is the range basically in which we have to count the number of elements present between this range. So let us see the example given. Here we are given an array 10, 1, 10, 3, 4. We have to note that this array is not sorted in this case and there are 4 queries given. First is 1 to 10. We can see in this array all the elements are between 1 to 10 inclusive of 1 and 10. So the output for this query is 5. And for the second query that is 2, 9, we can see there are only 2 elements that is 3 and 4 which are between 2 and 9. So the answer is 2. Again for the third query that is 3, 4 we can see there are only two elements that is between 3 and 4 inclusive. The elements are 3 and 4 itself. And for the last query that is 2, 2, there are no elements that is between 2 and 2. So the answer for that query is 0. Now let's discuss the approach to solve this problem. Let's say we have an array and to find the count of the elements in the array, first of all it is required that the array is sorted. So we will sort it in non-decreasing order or ascending order. Then we have to find two pointers uh, as we find them in the earlier problems that is B and C of step 1. First of all, we will find a pointer i such that the element at this pointer i is smaller than the current element L and the element at the i plus 1 index is greater than or equal to the number L in the given query. In that case, we will save this i plus 1 index and in the second case, we will find an index j such that the element at the index j is greater than the element r of the query while the element at the j minus 1 location is smaller than or equal to the element of the query that is r. And in this case, we will save this index j. Now it's very simple to find the answer. We will simply find the difference between these two pointers and that will be our answer. One more way could be by using the STL functions that are lower bound and upper bound. Rather than finding these pointers with a custom binary search function, we can find them using the lower bound and upper bound of STL. How we can do it? Let's see now. For the given array, we have already written it in sorted way. And for the query, for example, 110. We will find the lower bound for this one and it will basically point to this element and we will find the upper bound for this one that is R and it will basically point to this position in the array which is the last position since there are no greater element than 10. Remember we are finding the lower bound for L and upper bound for R. Then we will basically print the difference of these two pointers that will be our answer which will basically print this much that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 elements. Now let's see for any other query. For query 2 and 9 we will find the lower bound for this 2 which will point to this position and we will find the upper bound for 9 which will basically point to this position. Remember this is the first element just greater than 9. So we will get these two pointer and the difference between these two is 2. So is our answer for this query as we can see over here. So this is how we will simply find the answer for this question as well by finding the iterator using lower bound and upper bound. Now let's jump to the code. First of all, we will take input n that is the size of the array. After that, we will declare a vector a of size n and take input of that vector.
now we'll take the input k which is the number of total queries now we'll run a loop up to k from 0 now in this loop we will basically take input the query elements that is the range in which we have to count the number of elements between these range and after that we will find two iterator one we will call as left iterator which will be the lower bound for the l and we will search it in the in the array itself and as we can see we are searching lower bound in the array a for the element l similarly we will copy this up and we will find another iterator let's call it itr and it will be an upper bound on r in the same array and we simply have to print the difference of these two itr and itl that will be our answer for this query since we have already taken the input in the input text file we will build it now okay we forgot to sort this array since it is not sorted already so we will sort it using another stl function that is sort after taking the input now we can see we got the correct answer now let's try to submit it in the problem and as we can see it got accepted so that is it if you understand it and find it helpful please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you